This video is sponsored by Brilliant. So this is the year I turned 1 billion seconds old. You live your 1 billion second when you're 31 years, 8 months, 26 days, and some change. And in honor of that, I'm just doing a video on all things 1 billion. Let's begin. 1 billion seconds ago, it was the beginning of 1993. I was recently born. Bill Clinton was about to take office. Aladdin had just come out in theaters. What? Really? And the European Union would soon be forming. One billion minutes ago, it was 123 AD. The Roman Empire was running stuff, and the Pantheon in Rome actually was two years away from completion. So yeah, we're almost reaching the one billion minute anniversary of this guy. A billion hours ago, Homo erectus had just died out and Homo sapiens were still chilling in Africa. One billion days ago, our ancestors Homo habilis had just started using stone tools as that was the beginning of the Stone Age 2.6 million years ago, which is surprisingly close to exactly one billion days. And one billion years ago, nearly all life on Earth was single-celled organisms. Not even trees or plants existed on Earth yet. One billion years from now, the Earth will not be habitable as the sun's intensity will have increased by about 10%, which will evaporate our oceans. So that'll be a tough day. Also, there will be no more solar eclipses by then. Yes, the last solar eclipse ever is going to happen in about 600 million years due to the moon slowly moving further away from the Earth. Now, moving away from time, if you wrote out every number, one to a billion, just the number itself, one, two, all the way up, you'd write out 8,888,888,899 digits. That would take roughly 3 million pieces of paper, using standard font, and that would stack 148 meters high, basically a 50-story building. However, 1 billion individual pieces of paper, a 1 billion page book, would stack 75 kilometers high, which is literally past the stratosphere. That is seven times higher than planes fly. If you had $1 billion, all in $100 bills, you could fit that in a decently sized walk-in closet. It's about 10 cubic meters. But if you used ones and genuinely had $1 billion bills, that would take up just over 1,000 cubic meters and would fill up an entire two-story home. So you'll have to hide that somewhere else. This is interesting. One billion grains of sand lined up would stretch about 500 kilometers or the width of Hungary. But those same one billion grains of sand packed together could fit in a refrigerator. So yeah, digging up one billion grains of sand is actually very doable. One billion raindrops would fill an average swimming pool. One billion kilometers away is almost Saturn and it would take a regular commercial plane about 127 years to get there. And if you watched about 7,716 movies, you'll have seen 1 billion pictures. And that's with a frame rate of 24 frames per second. That means if you see 24 pictures every second, it would still take 482 days before you'll see one billion. That's how long it takes to watch all those movies. Now, this is so random, but mind blowing. Okay, here's a map of the Amazon rainforest, and I'm gonna put a circle here and then expand the circle. And you have to guess at which point the circle contains one billion trees, or if it even will. All right, so let me shrink the circle all the way down to begin, and here we go. Okay, we're done. This circle contains about 1 billion trees. But Zach, I can barely see a circle. Exactly. Isn't that insane? The Amazon contains almost 400 billion trees. Oh my God. So if you took an area of about 1 400th of the entire Amazon, 0.25%, you'd find an average of 1 billion trees. So sometimes one billion can actually seem kind of small. 
I mean, it only takes 13 objects before there's over a billion ways to order them in a line. Then just some human milestones. Earth reached a human population of 1 billion in 1804. If everyone at that time stood shoulder to shoulder, the chain of humans would wrap around the Earth maybe 13 times. However, those same billion people could fit, very snugly, packed shoulder to shoulder, but would fit, in the city of Seattle, covering every square inch. And if those people stood on each other's heads, like one by one, that chain would go four times further than the moon. Then the first company to be worth one billion was United States Steel in 1901. And the first person to have a net worth of one billion dollars was John D. Rockefeller. And this happened around 1916 when he hit that net worth. Dat oil money though. One milestone probably no one will reach is one billion steps in your life, as you'd have to walk 34,223 steps per day for 80 years. That's walking 16 miles, or 26 kilometers, a day for your entire life. However, based on how much the average person walks, you'll likely hit one billion if you live until 370. And you can find a billion or so more fun facts about all things math, science, and engineering over at Brilliant, the sponsor of this video. Brilliant is where you learn by doing with thousands of interactive lessons in math, engineering, data analysis, programming, and AI. With a first principles approach, this platform helps you build an understanding from the ground up. And what I enjoy most about Brilliant is their animations and interactive exercises that help you gain a foundational understanding of even the more complex topics, not through memorization, but through critical thinking skills and problem solving to help you become a better thinker. And they have a wide range of courses, so regardless of your education level, they'll have something just for you. And you can get started right now by going to brilliant.org slash zackstar or by clicking the link below where you can try everything free for a full 30 days. You can also scan the QR code on the screen now. And with that, going to end that video there. Thanks as always to my supporters on Patreon. Social media links to follow me are down below, and I'll see you all in the next video.